Okay, hi everybody. Um, okay, at last I've finished the um, Canary Wharf tunnel um, plans. I wouldn't say finished, but I've got them to a state where at least they're rough and ready and somebody can read them and you could build one out of it. Um, I'm going to have to put a lot more detail into the plans and I'll probably end up doing a, a full size booklet. But the plans are finished. I'm going to uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can go down and uh, download those for free. Uh, I'll do the full version but I'll probably do that on the website and that'll be to pay for. Um, but you can have this version free. It's quick and dirty but I think you should be able to get the idea. Uh, I've done a flat end wall. Uh, I haven't put details of the curved end wall, that's more complicated. I will do that probably on the full version. Uh, but I've put plenty to go at in the um, free version. Let me show you uh, what I've got. This will be a PDF that you can download. Uh, there is obviously the views of the uh, tunnel. This is an example structure. You don't have to build it as long as this uh, and you don't have to build it as wide as this. But this gives you an example. Uh, let me just zoom in a smidge. Right, um, the details of how to calculate for different variations. This one, we call it the CW18 because it's based on an 18-sided uh, polygon. This one tells you how to work out the dihedral angle and the bevel angle. That's all this lot here. So you can you could build a set of plans for 12, uh, a 12-sided, which is more um, blocky, if you like, than the 18 uh, 16 sort of intermediate um, they all need to have a, a join at the top to create a water flow if you didn't have that you'd end up with a flat piece at the top which is not good really for shedding water so these are a few examples I will probably add plans uh, for all this type of thing because it seems to be a really good design I'm really happy with it uh, and it's fairly flexible I'll, I'll continue with that on the next one there we go this is the cross section and it gives you your heights and widths. This one's four meters wide and uh, a total of two meters, two and a half meters tall. Very simple to either, uh, I'll put it on a base wall, on a riser wall, so you could take away that riser wall if you wanted or you could make that riser wall higher. Um, you know that the bevel angle on the top of the riser wall will be uh, 10 degrees because that's what uh, the bevel angle is on all of these so that's okay that's your triangle measurement and this is your bevel angles there's your 10 degree bevel angle on the bottom only the two sides have no bevel and the top has a tiny little bevel as well all that details in also I've included uh, calculations and details to build this out of conduit if you instead of building it out of a timber frame you can build it out of conduit um, this gives uh, it's super easy in conduit as well again because you're using one piece of plastic across the whole structure uh, I don't think domes are very good uh, in conduit because uh, they either end up all folded up and creased and horrible looking or they um, uh, you know there's nothing, nothing you can do really there's no way of making a, uh, a dome look good if it's, if it's in conduit but there's no reason why you couldn't make a really good job of this by putting a timber button along this uh, riser wall and tightening the either being able to lift the frame up to tighten the polythene or pull the, fr the polythene down um, to tighten it so you, you should be able to get a nice tight structure and it's all one, all in one polythene so you build the frame first and then you cover it after and uh, that's the detail of the bends you need a 60 degree uh, angle on your conduit and a 10 degree bend. Again, there's three different kinds. Uh, here we go, there's the examples. Um, these ones are straight, the purples are straight, the um, red have a 60 degree on the left hand side and the green have the 60 degree on the right. They're exactly the same. They're all the same length, uh, but I'll zoom in here. But you can see that the green one is a mirror image of the red one and that the, the this blue one has no bend at all so that's fairly straightforward uh, you might need to do some support on the inside I haven't done calculations for, struct for uh, structural calculations yet so you're gonna have to um, 
build it and see. But there's loads of different ways you could support it if it was uh, not behaving itself. And the other cool thing about this, um, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do this first. This is the end wall detail. Uh, there's measurements for the end wall, but it's the flat version. I'll probably add the curved version um, to the full plans. Uh, I, I wanted to get these out because I've been about a month on them. Um, the other cool thing about this uh, design is the in thing right now is double layer with a blower. If you uh, have a timber frame and you put bat uh, cover it with your polythene and then you batten again, you can then cover it again with polythene and there's no reason why you can't put another batten on uh, and another button and get as many layers of polythene as you want. If you d were to put, I would say, three layers of polythene, you'd end up with um, a super efficient passive greenhouse. Uh, the, the thermal conductivity would be really good uh, and for not much money. Uh, here's the details. This is a quick detail of a three layer. I don't know if you can see that this well on the, on the uh, thing. Here we go. That would be your main frame, polythene covered button, cover that again in polythene, another button and then cover that in polythene. That gives you three layers which exceeds pretty much all greenhouses on the market at the minute. So this is a pretty exciting design because it's so easy to cover, uh, so easy to recover and you can layer it up without blowers um, as many times as you want. Uh, that's, that's it. Um, check out the description for a download link uh, let me know that everything's working and any questions just fire them in the comments thanks for watching and uh, good luck with the build